beautifully beautiful Leos. Welcome to you guys um, love reading. For this love reading we are going to take a look what you need to know when it comes to the topic love. You can be in a relationship looking, searching, wondering, whatever have you love we are going to take a look at it. But before we do that let me introduce myself. My name is Noraima from the Phoenix Star. If you are new to the channel, hi, welcome. I'm thankful you found me. If you like the vibration, don't forget then to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you're already part of the fam, the growing tribe, love. Thank for that you're back again, fam. So yeah, let's take a look. Let's see. Also, check my channel out. We have bigger cards and also open topic um, zodiac reading, timeless. So yeah, if you like to know more about your favorite, <laughs> check my channel out. But yeah, that being said, let's get started because this is a topic that might take a while. You have three of pentacles together with the seven chakra archangel Uriel. And then you also have, wow, what is this? Higher power. Oh, they, this looks like you, you, we come in pair. I like it. I love it. I want to put this one here and this one here. That is the energy that I'm getting. That's the energy. What is it with the purple power? Uh, purple, purple power. Purple power. Purple rain. Uh, a win-win outcome, uh, outcome in forecast. New moon, a full moon in Libra. I like this purple on you guys. And also you have shaman, ancient healing and wisdom. Definitely, let me put it like so. Because I'm not getting it like so. I'm getting it to be like this. So yeah, um, my lovely beautiful Leos. <laughs> At this moment when it comes to love, I don't think you have something to do with it. I think it is your higher self, your, your spiritual team, and your ancestors. Like they are the one, as I said, the three. Your higher self, your spiritual team, and your ancestors. Those three, three main categories with the three of pentacles, it seems like they are doing their thing, y'all. And all you have to do is catch the energy, catch the vibe, catch the message, you know, and you will see that this is going to be beautiful. This is going to be beautiful. It's a kind of a lesson when it comes to love. There is some kind of a lesson you need to learn so you can elevate. But it's a lesson of, oh, wow, I did not know. Even if it is not a good lesson, because lots of times we think that if those three people be like, oh, if my higher self and my spiritual team are working behind the scene, I bet you they will bring something good. Yes, they would. Yes, they would. They would bring you something good. But they, they have left the little letters out of it. And those little letters sometimes can say you will go down before you go up, honey. <laughs> They be like sneaky and hitting it like, mm -hmm. guess what? For you to achieve that, boo-boo, you need to really mm -hmm, go through the struggles, you know? And in, and we often then will blame or, you know, it's more, it isn't, it isn't to blame or to um, judge or to why me kind of a situation. It's for you to learn the lesson of what is happening so you can evaluate your yourself you know so i'm really getting that that this situation right here is actually something beautiful coming but how it will come honey it's nothing that you haven't signed up for <laughs> and it's nothing that you cannot handle because you need this wisdom and because of this wisdom you can then help lots of other people to see love also in a different way you know and so let's go let's see what more you need to receive when it comes to this situation um as some of you know, this is a topic that might take a while. So you may grab yourself something to eat, drink, let's hang, let's chill while I do the shuffling.
So, my lovely, beautiful Leos, let me first say you can be on top of this message, in front of this message, behind this message, take what resonate and what not. Cock to it, leave it where it is. What do I mean to say with that? I mean to say the cards cannot dictate your life. Only you can with thought, beliefs and action. So let us reading deepen your understanding of the present moment so it can pave a clearer path to your future. Underneath the deck you have the Hierophant and we are moving from the past to the future like so. These cards belong together. The cards that you have is the Page of Cups together with the Nine of Cups in reverse. The Four of Coins together with the Strength card, the Wheel of Fortune together with the Empress, Two of Swords together with the Two of Wands, Ace of Swords together with the Ace uh, with the Eight of Cups in reverse. Now you might think like mm, these cards look different. That's correct. They are the in between tarot, so um, they talk about the journey um, that happens. So it's a beautiful card deck to use if you are an intuitive reader in that kind of a way also I want to mention while I was shuffling I was getting the message like really um, don't open the door for just anybody okay don't open the door for just anybody somebody will come knocking is what I'm getting don't open the door for just anybody rebuke that energy is what I'm getting if you hear me shuffle you will hear me say rebuke that energy you know um this the, um that's Dutch <laughs> so so that is what I was me if you hear that, <laughs> I was saying rebuke that energy because I heard some I heard like not for don't open the door for just anybody so that is something you need to know um let's see um Honey, the wheel is the, the wheel is going to the justice card. We have the Empress going to the Emperor. We have the Hierophant going to the lovers. It's given me like it's finally the day for you guys. It's finally time for you to have that win-win in out uh, in forecast. Looking at the scales also. Like the wheel goes to the justice. Here you have justice. This is justice. So the, the, the storm that you've been through, all of that, we are now going to get the fruits of it all when it comes to love. And this, this, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. But this is something... For some of you, lots of you, this commitment, this is something of um, a struggle. It was a struggle. And the thing is, like, it's giving me a lose. You lost, though. I don't know why, but I'm getting you lost. But but what's next? Because I told you guys, like there is something, even though you go down, you before you go up, you have to go down. And looking at the nine and the eight of cups is giving me you have lost. You have lost, but there is a new offer coming. And this new offer is asking you to have strength. You will go through lots of storms before you get it. But when you get it, though, you will be appreciated of it. You will, because even though the heartache and pain and the hurt that you have been through, you then can use that knowledge and wisdom to make a better, greater choice that is for you. I think for lots of you, this might speak of... Um, you might have had um, issue with your partner or you might have come uh, come out of a very hectic relationship or something like that. Or you ha kind of have to, um, um, you might not trust people is what I'm getting for some of you. There is something of um, not being aware of other people doing um, doing you wrong or a, a person not having what you actually want kind of a way but you will have it now you will there is somebody that is admiring what you are doing and you are not looking for this love is what I'm getting with that you are not looking for it um, it is just coming towards you without looking for it is what I'm getting. This new love. 
this this situation. It's just being handed to you. And I do think it's being handed to you through your guide, your spiritual team. Because this person has already has an eye on you, is seeing what you are doing. But they don't know how to come at you. But this time they will. They will come at you. It seems like they are being guided or it's it's giving me like um it's giving me the energy of they are being pushed towards you it's happened for them also kind of like spiritually like i must now take action energy so communication will happen and what you do with that communication is up to you my love if you go in with it or not but that is where i'm getting like there is some kind of a commitment coming and it's not a commitment as in the past it's a new commitment it's different you are not even looking at this one um if you are already in a relationship i do think you're uh the person that if you are in a good relationship if you are in a bad relationship honey it seems like that one is the one that that goes away and you will get a new one but if you are in a happy fulfilling energy with your person you know you guys are going to level up to something different where you guys will win like it's something of oh let's go for for different uh um let's go for something that you guys didn't even look for it but your partner might give you like oh shall we buy a house or shall we start a business shall we it's just um a announcement that it's handed to you and you can use it you can use it if you want to. You have a choice. So let's go for the topic now. Let's go deep where we are going in on each card one by one to see what more you need to receive. Um, let's see because I do not take my cards in reverse unless I shuffle and they fall in reverse. But in the deck, I do not put them in reverse. So yeah, let's go. Let's go for the page of cups. I uh, will not take these. They are too much. But I do take that one. Underneath the deck, the um, Death and Rebirth. That's um, Scorpio. Talking about Scorpio, let me mention the signs that I see for you guys right away. You have for the Herophant, Taurus. We have Libra. We have, um, you can say Libra and Taurus. Both of them. I already mentioned it. And also you have the strength card. Um, so that's Leo that has entered the building. So for the page of cups, you have the eight of pentacles together with the four of cups. The four of cups being in reverse. So this is this this offer that is coming to you. It can work out because it's things that you like and love. It's going to work when you, you you like it, that it's coming. But you are kind of like mm, want it also, this offer. But it's not totally your full wish. You know, it's, you know, you know, sometimes we, <laughs> we be like, oh, I wish somebody took me to, di to dinner or something. You can wish that small, but actually you have a bigger wish that is what i'm getting it's more like oh it's working out because i did want that but it's a part of my wish it's not the wish you know so this situation right here is a lot of smoke <laughs> my my um I have put a cone on, but a cone smokes a lot y'all incense cone but yeah back to you this situation right here is giving me like, you know, um, you need this offer. You know it. And this offer, my love, is an offer that your ancestor is giving you. Because I do think this is going to be your ancestor. This is going to be your um, um, your spiritual team. And this is going to be your higher self. You know, and this is how it all comes together kind of a situation. So from here to here is how they are going to to actually um, work with you in this is the energy that I'm getting. So we will see at the end 
of it because honey you have free will we will see at the end of it what you will do with this win giving me the two of swords and the eight of cups will you go for it or will you not that's for you but this one is from your ancestors this situation this gift this four of cup this thing that is coming towards you and you you it will work nicely looking at the eight of cups uh, eight of pentacles you it's working nicely with you so let's see for the nine of cups in reverse underneath the deck you have the king of cups so for the eight of cups you have the eight the nine of cups in reverse my bad you have the hanged man together with the emperor Okay, my love. <laughs> Aries has joined the building. Honey, what your ancestor, because I'm going to say it like it is, the ancestors, you know, the ancestor is giving you is some kind of um, looking at the emperor and the empress is going to the emperor. Child, listen. You have to, oh, look at this. I love this. Like you see the phoenix on the empress shield. Oh, child. Giving me a new rise, y'all. It's looking like a dragon also. A phoenix or a dragon. Depends how you see it. One way or the other is something in power. Something high coming towards you. And um, Aries has joined the building. But this situation is going to bring you enlightenment. It's going to bring you enlightenment. Some of you have been working on, on a craft, a thing that you like and love, or you have gotten the different perspective of uh, the view of love. Uh, you know, if you are in a, a feminine, you want to be in your feminine energy, you will have somebody that will be in this masculine energy and you guys will come beautifully together looking at the empress going to the emperor. It can also be that if you are a mes uh, in the masculine energy, once again, no gender specific, you will find somebody that will be in the feminine energy that will balance beautifully with you. So, but this is something, looking at the King of Cups, this is something, the King of Cups, by the way, my bad, y'all. The King of Cups is somebody very beautifully in balance with the yin and his yang within himself you know no gender specific so i do think that that is the thing that your ancestor wants you to heal from and get the wisdom of looking at the hanged man once again so it's giving me like really that you are working on something that you like and love fine and that you know what you want great but now you will have something that will be on the other side where you can be fully imbalanced and complete oh that's a beautiful gift from your ancestors y'all that's a beautiful gift and a beautiful new beginning and it's going to be fruitful it really is. It's going to make you who you are. Because Aries is I am. It's going to make you who you are. Innocent but yet strong. Even though, like it's giving me the energy of um, misunderstood. Misunderstood in love. Misunderstood in life. Like um, don't look, because I'm getting like, don't don't look like you don't look don't look like you don't need it people don't pay attention but they need you kind of a situation and i don't know if that is you or the other person that's be like okay you are not paying attention but i am looking at you and you need me kind of a situation i don't know but that's the energy that i'm getting like you don't see it coming or you don't think you need it but you will once you get the clarity you'll be like abby them i did not know i needed this situation it's an it's an aha moment of oh you know sometimes we we take something for granted or we don't even notice that situation till it fall off you come to realize how many times you have used it or how many times you know like for example we all kind of like know we have um we we wake up in the morning 
We take that for granted. Yeah, it's like really, it's norm. Let's wake up. Oh, another day. Oh my God, it's mo- Monday again. And then till you come to realize like, oh, you can also wake up with something less than that, you know? And then you come to realize, oh, I did not know that I, every day I will wake up and drink a cup of water. You know, if something fall off, you will notice it because it had become something of a norm and you are not paying attention to it. But you guys, your spiritual team is saying, you are going to see that you need that, your ancestor. So it's saying that. Let's see, for the four of coins, Underneath the deck, the devil. So for the four of coins, you have the ten. Wow, the ten of swords in reverse, together with the five of swords in reverse. This is a new beginning. There is no people stabbing you in the back. There is no people doing mischievous things. There ain't no devil in this situation. This is what your high, your spiritual team is giving you. This is the gift that your spiritual team is giving you. Like no mischievous things, no um, no people stabbing you in the back. Honey, you are coming for present. Is it Christmas already? Like, is this Christmas for you guys, my lovely, beautiful Leo? Like, really? I love it. Let's see. Uh, for the strength card. Leo, this is you guys, by the way. I just neglected that a little bit not neglected look at that talking about neglection what i was saying with your ancestors so um it's um i have not paid attention as i said with your ancestors so let's see for um the strength card honey all that i'm saying has a reason i have not paid attention and what do you get the tower it's suddenly everything i love it I love it. Let's go for the strength card. Underneath the deck, you have the Prince of Swords. And it's happening fast and quick, y'all. It's going to happen fast and quick, this situation right here, my love. You have for the strength card, the universe in reverse. Together with the King of Swords in reverse and the Tower upright. Now, once again, a card that says this is a new beginning. This is a new beginning. So don't even think that it's somebody from the past. No, it's fresh. It's new. You don't see this one coming. This one is something that you really don't see coming because the the, the king of swords is somebody that look at the uh, the bigger picture. You are not even you are not even strategizing planning. You don't see this one. It's a tower. It's the tower, and the tower is is as the the the, the world card. Um, is higher arcana, so that means higher power is in, at play at this moment. You know, this new beginning is all because your uh, spiritual team is giving it to you. And with this new beginning, there ain't no mischievous things. There ain't no people stabbing you in the back. It's a surprise to you yourself. That this is happening. And all you guys, your spiritual team is saying, once that comes in, you better have the strength to go and do and take action. To get the wisdom out of this connection. Did I rhyme? I do think so. But yeah, take action, connection. But yeah, don't hold too tight in the, on the old ways of thinking um, that you might not have it or it cannot happen. Uh, no, no. So just go and do, have the strength to go and do, get the knowledge and wisdom. This person might be older than you. This person might be uh, somebody with... Um, also a great guidance with them you know because i do think if i look at how this reading talks about your your guide your spiritual team your ancestor and your higher self 
I do think they, they, this is a contract between your spiritual team together with their spiritual team. Be like, okay, this is the time that that person should learn this lesson. And this is the time that that person should learn this lesson. So we need to, can we collaborate together and bring them together? So both of them will learn the lessons of life. Because often we think that this is this, honey, this life, this thing called life, this thing called living is so beautifully orchestrated i kid you not i kid you not it's it's really a greatest show it's the greatest show of all time that has been created really if you can just see it in that way how everything everybody has a team everybody has uh, uh something and they make deals behind your back or you know that child i cannot even explain it well how this goes down but that is really how they do it's an energy work and that's how it works you need a certain things to evolve they need a certain things to evolve guess what hey let's let's make a deal let's collaborate we are doing it as human beings already in our body there are um 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 organs that are doing it together why do you think that you guys your spiritual team will not make a deal with somebody else's everything has a collaboration y'all let's see even the good and the bad you might think like oh so you mean to tell me like even that thing that i went through that bad relationship that was also orchestrated if you have gotten the lesson out of it if have evolved you yes even if it didn't you will go through it again till you <laughs> till you get the 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 enlightenment so that is why i said like even if this makes you go down you will go down before you go up so that's those small letters y'all we have a sign to this let's go for the wheel underneath the deck the seven of swords i really love it how your guides your spiritual team decided to really show up in your reading as team building tree <laughs> looking at the tree of pentacles because it's giving me like oh wow you guys are really showing yourself that is why i had the knock like, but don't open up for everybody, y'all. If you hear, because honey, let me tell you, I'm alone here in this house, okay? I'm alone in this house. And I heard that door knock three times. Do you, and I'm doing spiritual work. I do not open up. I will not open up. I will rebuke that spirit because I don't know. Keep in mind, doors are portals. So if I open up the door, I don't know what is coming in. So that is why I'm telling you guys that if you hear a knock on the door and you are alone in your house, like rebuke that energy. Don't open up the door for just anybody, okay? And especially looking at how your spiritual team comes through this reading, I know this is an energy of higher level they are showing themselves so that means like for now i am totally in your reading i may not pay attention to other things that goes around me okay so for the wheel of fortune you have the three of swords together with the empress in the reverse honey here is where as I said, looking at the troubling situation here. He, why do I want to speak Dutch? Looking at the troubling situation here. Like if you look at the justice, like the road is 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 clean, right? But the justice is like going through a sandstorm or something before it can really um, judge if this is something good or not. And looking at the seven of swords also underneath the deck, that's my cheating knife and thief card, y'all. So where you been through, uh, like really um, the devastating situation that had brought you heartache and pain, may, um, I, I need to tell you one thing again. Okay, I'm going to tell you what I, want, I wanted to, they, too much. <laughs> like I'm here and I'm there. Okay, but I need to tell you three, three, three. Okay, 
So you know, 333. Google the number 333. 333 is the number of being in the, in the now, you know, it's the beginning. Because the Empress is number three, the three of swords, three, the three of pentacles, three. So 333. Okay. Once again, the Empress also number three. So it's given me four times number three. Can we now? Yes, we can. So, so four times number three, Google that number or three times number three. But back to you, back to, we are the whole time with you, but there is too much message coming through. So um, where you were at, what wasn't fruitful, what was painful, what was kind of like, oh my God, I have gambled in the wrong situation. The wheels are going to turn now. Okay. So the wheels are going to turn. And even if, um, but you need to lo learn the lesson. That is why I had to tell you about, um, um, you need to learn the lessons of certain things and then you can go to the next level, you know, otherwise you will go again, uh, go once again, handle the same situation but then with another person two of pentacles um underneath the deck the old going to the new so for the empress you have child it decided to come out the seven of pen uh, seven of swords together with the six of pentacles in reverse together with the devil in reverse capricorn has joined the building so for you guys my love what isn't in balance, throw it out. Throw it out. That's the two of pentacles also. It's getting rid of, it's balancing the in-between. You know, like the Wheel of Fortune, you are going to that, to justice. It's balancing, the skills is being balanced by the thing that's standing and then the skills will be in balance, right? So the two of pentacles is doing that with the past and the future. So it's juggling the in the moment three 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 now i get it it's get, get um juggling the in the moment so that once it decides okay the wheel has turned it's time to go it will release what isn't working anymore looking at the three of swords the empress in reverse the devil in reverse and the six of pentacles it will release the things that feeling of lack the feeling of hurt the feeling of pain the feeling of toxicity so it can go to that new new to something that is in balance looking at the empress going to the emperor upright you know, so, so don't let your past hold you back is what this card is actually saying. Don't let your past hold you back because, um, and hopefully you have learned the lesson. I don't know if you can remember this type of relationship that somebody had betrayed you, that you, that it was toxic and it wasn't in balance. You know, people was cheating on you. Whatever this is of a relationship, I do hope you have learned the lesson because because you have learned the lesson, we can now go to the new chapter. Now let's go, let's see what your higher self is saying. Let's go for the two of swords because here is where I see that another person is looking at you and that the other person I do think is the emperor. So let's see. For the two of swords. That's too much. We ain't doing that. Mm -mm. We are not too excited about that. <laughs> let's see. Um, two of swords. Underneath the deck, the queen of pentacles. For the two of swords, you have the king of cups in reverse together with the nine of cups upright. So the king of cups was the one that was underneath the deck for this emperor also, because I remember mentioning it here. So it's given me that this is the person, look, going back to the emperor that your ancestor is giving you. This is the person that will come bring your wish, the happiness. This is the person, but you don't see that person coming. The offer that this person is going to give you, you don't even see it. You don't even pay attention to it. As I've been saying with this card, you know, you are not looking for it. It's just going to be put in your hands. You know, you are not paying attention, but they are paying attention though. <laughs> they are. 
So let's see. It seems like, oh child, the lovers. It seems like your higher self know already because your higher self know everything about you. Your higher self already know that this is the next thing. So for the two, okay, uh, what? It's too much though, but we taken them. So underneath the deck, you have the king of wands. So this person can be also very passionately. Um, you have for the two of wands, three of pentacles. This is them. This is them. This is a collaboration between your ancestor, your spiritual team and your higher self. This is them. This is their doing. So, but you have a choice. Keep in mind, free will, free will, free willy, everything. Okay. You free. So you have the choice. If you will take this yes or no, you know, if you can handle it, yes or no. And then together with the lover. So Gemini has joined the building. So my love, it's for you to see, do you want this wish or not? Because they are just going to hand it to you in your hands. And it's going to be a very passionately roller coaster. But it's something that you need at this moment. But then again, you have free will and free choice. As I've been saying the whole time. Because that's something that they really want to make sure to you to know. That even if they are giving it to you. It doesn't mean that you should take it. You should only take it if you feel good with it. You know. Um, because as I said, that is why I had to tell you, as I said, that is why they had the knocking that the devil is also watching child goosebumps, goosebumps from head to back goosebumps. Okay. Because that is the thing who this is a spiritual reading. And I love it and I like it and I'm blessed and I'm thankful, blessed for receiving it. And may I give it to you? If you are on this reading, honey, definitely for you. If you're yet still with me, thankful, you know, but I'm, I'm thankful for this message. So <laughs> back to you is what I'm getting is like the reason why you have free will is the devil is also watching. The devil can also intimidate, uh, imitate, imitate. Okay, imitate the blessing that your guides, your spiritual team is bringing you, but it's not that. So with their blessing, you can see that it's not toxic, it's beautiful, and how it will be given to you, because I have been telling you the whole time. But then again, the devil can also trick people with their ego and emotions, you know? So really at this moment, your guys, your spiritual team is saying, looking at the ace of swords, going to the two of um, swords, that when this situation comes to you, you should not answer to everybody. The knock, if somebody else is knocking and you have a feeling that that ain't it, don't take that offer because the devil is also knocking. You see, that is why rebuke it. That is why I was getting it. Wow. They are totally from beginning of on when I was shuffling till now with you with this message. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm thankful once again. I'm thankful to give you this message. So underneath the deck, you have the two of wands. For the Ace of Swords, um, I want to say also for the Ace of Swords, you will hear a message. But every time you hear a message, because you can hear two messages. As I said, the devil will knock and your team will knock. But you have a choice to make, okay? So you need to really listen to your intuition, your spiritual team, your guides, your higher self, all three of them. And if you feel good with it, that is the one. So if you feel kind of a, uh, or you have chills on your back, on your head, or you kind of like be like, hmm, you know, it's surprising. Somebody's knocking and I'm alone kind of a way. Um, if you kind of feel like, okay, it's strange. Your higher self, because when I had the message, when somebody knocked, I heard it. Don't say who is it don't say it don't do that because that person isn't it 
Okay, because no, uh, normally if somebody knock, you will say, who is it or something? You know, you will question who is knocking. I heard it. I heard it. Like, don't say it because you are inviting them in. That bad energy, you are inviting them in. So rebuke that energy. Ah, child. Okay, listen, I'm blessed. I'm thankful for this message. And I love it that I have to give it to you. But did they have, did they have to send something towards me to, to, to show you that, that how, how this situation works? Because I didn't need it at all. <laughs> Back to you. You have for the, for the ace of, um, Ace of Swords, maybe you should have known how it works, but they are testing me with it, you know. Uh, for the Ace of Swords, you have the Eight of Cups together with the Sun. Dare to walk away to your wish, your dreams, your heart, desires. Dare to do that. That's the thing with the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is the devil's illusion. We think we are content and happy because we have what society say it's actually the norm. That's how the devil will trick you by letting you think, oh, that person has a car, a house, a job, a this or that. But emotionally, that person will not fulfill you. You need to go to the sun, honey. That's you guys, by the way. Leo, you have joined once again your own reading. So here is where you will get a win-win. When you make a choice to go to the brighter side of life, where you wish your dream will come true. This is this eight of cups is in reverse for this one. But the but we need to go to that ninth of cups. The thing that you are not even paying attention to is what I'm seeing right now. You are fishing, doing your thing, but what is coming is behind you, my love. You don't see this one coming, the light. I love your reading. I really love your reading. I do hope lots of people will get this message, but hey, not everybody will get this message because it's not for everybody. Sometimes I wish and hope. Let's go for the eight of cup. Sometimes I wish and hope for, oh, I hope my videos go viral. Or I hope um, this this um, video will reach a lot of people, you know. If I have the message that I'll be like, oh, this is a great energy message. But then again, if it doesn't, I'm like, oh, well, guess what? It isn't supposed to. So feel blessed, feel blessed that you are the one being chosen right now. So for the seven pentacles, you have, we are ending with the seven of pentacles, planting a great seed. Oh, honey, not everybody should get this message. <laughs> it's not for everybody, my lovely, beautiful Leos. Look at this. We are ending with the Ten of Pentacles together with the Four of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles is for lineage to come. Whatever seed that you have planted, you are going for that foundation. And it's spiritual. Look at that. Three, four. Ah, that's you, you guys, your spiritual team. Finding and, and then, you know, that the, the team of three together with you is finding the rest. Is finding the spiritual enlightenment. Is finding the peace. And that is how we will end. With a win-win. In forecast. Child. Oh. Leo, you're blessed. You're blessed to be on this reading. And I'm blessed to be the one that may share this message with you. I'm very thankful for you and, and, and you guys, your spiritual team. This is a long read. Normally, I don't know. But this lately, I... But I do hope you guys have understood your um, reading. If you are yet still with me and you want to show me some love and be like, honey, thankful. First of all, I'm thankful you are here with me. But to let me know that you're with me, put up a sun. You know, put up a sun that will let me know that you have reached the end and that you are claiming this uh, reading and keep in mind the devil can intimate intimate in child can do the same they can pretend to be what is but you, if you are stable in this now you can see what is the 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 the, the, the 
con and what not you know so really make a good choice and don't stay stuck in your comfortable zone because the comfortable zone is the devil so go for your wish your dreams where you can find peace and enlightenment and uh, win in life okay my love my lovely beautiful leos i i forget the whole time because this is a new thing that i do now for the um, love reading but I want to give you guys a love oracle so I will put this video somewhere uh, at the end so you guys know um, this is then your love message when it comes to your oracles let's see love underneath the deck so let's see what is the message you need to receive so you have be patient to get of it run away this is this is the the, the the first one you know to get of it not the time okay so listen what this is clear with your reading like really be patient when the offer is coming and not only that if you see feel sense <laughs> the chills on your back on your head or that person is kind of like Ugh, run away okay run away that ain't it that isn't for you like really move away from that one okay because the other one is the one that you guys your spiritual team is bringing you that's the one that you should have the love so my lovely beautiful leo now i don't know where i will put this so let's go to your reading or let's say goodbye i don't know but let's see so i do hope i could have helped you guys don't forget to hit the like share and subscribe bye bye